In this video, we will learn what light settings to use in dusty environments, so that you can maximize your visibility and situational awareness. The propellers of the drone can kick up a lot of dust, causing some of the light emitted from the drone to reflect back into the camera, which has a blinding effect. To reduce this effect, Ilios 2 has several light panels, each with its own functions. The main lights are located away from the camera and angled outwards. This reduces the light intensity right in front of the camera and limits the blinding effect of dust. However, it also creates a shadow in the middle of the image when inspecting surfaces from close up. This is why a third light, the close up light, is placed next to the camera to compensate for this shadow. To turn this light on and off, you must simultaneously press the function button and the lighting wheel. This light will greatly improve image quality during close-up inspections, but it's good practice to turn it off when it's no longer needed. Here we can see the effect of flying in a dusty area with the close-up light switched on. Note the icons in the bottom right, indicating that all three lights are on. As soon as it is switched off, the visibility drastically improves. When flying through large dusty areas, it's important to switch off the close-up light, as its position right next to the camera causes a significant blinding effect. There are two control modes for the close-up light, manual and automatic. These can be selected in the image menu in the cockpit app. When in automatic mode, the light will automatically switch on when the drone is less than 90 centimeters away from a surface. The pilot can force it to switch off by using the usual button combination. This is necessary because the distance measurement can sometimes be fooled by dust, causing the light to switch on unnecessarily. In manual mode, the lights must be manually controlled by the pilot at all times. They will remain on when switched on and remain off when switched off.